I mean, it's tough. You know, uh, I think right there, the score was 6-3. Um, you know, and that was a tie and run. So, you know, I'll, I want to come up big right there in that situation for my team. And, uh, you know, I wasn't able to, uh, to get the opportunity to. It seems like you found a little something at the plate today. What was different for you in the batter's box? Well, I just made a little changes uh, with my right-hand swing. Uh, you know, last game uh, I played in Tampa, I felt like I was just a little bit too hunched over and uh, I wasn't able to get to that inside pitches. And um, so I, I, I try to stay a little, little bit taller um, and I was able to uh, see the ball a, a lot better and uh, it resulted in uh, three hits today. Yesterday, you went into Aaron Boone's office and, and decided to not play in the game. Can mm -hmm. you just kind of give your perspective on how you were affected by the situation in Minnesota and why uh, you made that trip into Aaron Boone's office? Well, I mean, I just felt like it wasn't right for me to, to play that game. Um, you know, it, it was tough, you know, to, to, you know, read that somebody just got murdered. Um, and, um, you know, he's a... Uh, He's a he's a father, you know, to his son, and um, you know he he's also a son to his mother. So, you know, it's extremely tough, um, you know, when the situations like that happen. Uh, Brendan Cuddy, please unmute. Aaron, could you tell us how the uh, the, the, the support you received? Uh, from the clubhouse, how how your teammates uh, reacted? I mean, it was in, it was incredible. I mean, um, you know, uh, just just them being able to you know um, you know say they got my back and uh, you know um, even if they don't understand you know what uh, what what is what it's like uh, you know and and what kind of um, you know Black Americans in this country have to deal with sometimes and um, you know it's just nice to. Um, you know, kind of hear, you know, hey, hey, you know, it's all good. You know, we'll, we'll take care of this game for you. And, um, you know, it's nice to, to have that. Eric Bowen, you have the next question. Aaron, can you just give an idea of the, the timeline on, because uh, uh, Aaron did tell us that you were in his initial lineup yesterday um, of when you, you know, first thought, I, I just I just can't play tonight. I don't feel like playing mm -hmm. tonight. And um, and ultimately, what led to you going into his office? Well, you know, I was going back and forth, literally on the drive over to the field. Um, and then by, by the time I got to the field, um, you know, I just knew it wasn't, um, it, it wasn't right for me to play. So uh, I kind of went in there, um, man, must have been like four o'clock or so. Um, I don't really remember, but, uh, you know, pretty early, you know, um, before BP to, to do that. Thank you, Art. Mm -hmm. Brian Hope, please unmute. Aaron, was there any thought to not playing tonight also, or when did you decide that tonight would be okay? Um, uh, you know, I just, I just felt like yesterday wasn't right. And today was, you know, a day that I wanted to play. I wanted to go out. I wanted to compete. Um, you know, and competing was, <clears throat> is what gets my mind off of it. So, um, you know, it, it really was, uh, you know, nice to go out there today and, and have a good game, you know, uh, and, uh, you know, um, I just want to keep it going. Take one or two more. Pete Caldera, go ahead. Aaron, it looked like before the game you were speaking with some of the Blue Jays players. I imagine you engaged your own teammates uh, also in discussion. Was it helpful to talk through this, or was it something that you just needed to process uh, on your own? Well, I mean, you know, definitely from the beginning, you know, it was something that I just needed to process alone. Um, I didn't really start talking about it until, um, you know, once I got, uh, you know, right around game time. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously after the game, you know, talking, um, you know, with my girlfriend. So uh, it's definitely, you know, nice to have a support system um, that can, you know, help you. Christy Ackert, please unmute. Hey, Aaron. Um, 
how did you find out about the incident? And, and just, can you just tell us what your initial reaction was or, or how emotional it was for you? Uh, you know, just kind of waking up in the morning and just scrolling through Twitter. Um, it's kind of, kind of how it happened. Um, and then obviously you see the game with, uh, the Red Sox in Minnesota postponed, um, you know, and, you know, it's kind of initially how I, how I got all that information. That's pretty much in the morning when I woke up.